Hi, my name is Dr. Benjamin Chua, Senior Consultant Vascular Surgeon at the Vascular Interventional Centre. Today, I would like to share with you on a topic that is very important for some of our patients. And these are patients who have kidney failure and are receiving hemodialysis. Hemodialysis means that the blood is extracted from patients, passed through a machine, have the toxins filtered out and then returned to the patient. This is very important because this is what keeps the patients alive. Patients on hemodialysis need to undergo this process at least two to three times a week. Now, in order for the machine to extract the blood from the patient and then return it, they need to do it through a channel, and that is the vascular access. Instead, what we as vascular surgeons would recommend is the creation of a vascular access that's more permanent. One is called an arteriovenous fistula, the other one is called an arteriovenous graft. Now, one of the problems with either a fistula or graft is after being used for a certain period of time, it can get narrowed or um, it can get infected. And this is because of the repeated needling. If it gets narrowed, we sometimes have to do an additional procedure uh, where we balloon open the fistula or the narrowing to widen it again to allow it to be used effectively. Sometimes for the graft, this also needs to be done. Or sometimes if the graft gets blocked, we unblock the graft and then we re-balloon it to allow it to be used again. In other words, we salvage both the fistula and graft. This can sometimes happen after patients on hemodialysis using a fistula or graft uh, have used it for at least one to two years, uh, sometimes even longer. Again, the unblocking and the ballooning of these fistulas or grafts are done usually as a day's so procedure and we return the patient to dialysis quickly. The advantage of doing that is avoids the need to put in any other dialysis lines like the one in the neck called the perm cath which I mentioned previously. Overall, patients on hemodialysis need to maintain these fistulas and grafts so that they can be effectively used during dialysis.